Okay, now we're going to talk about solving using the multiplication property of equality. Now, the multiplication property of equality is just like the addition property um, where it says you have to keep your equation balanced. If you're going to multiply something to one side, you have to multiply it to the other side. And again, if you're going to divide the equation on one side, you have to also divide it on the other. So what we're going to do is work with solving equations using the multiplication property of equality. The first uh, property or the first example that we're going to look at is going to be b over 12 equals 7. Right, so we're trying to solve this equation for b. Now, to solve this equation for b, I need to multiply both sides of the equation by 12. The reason for this is because b is being divided by 12. I need to get rid of this. So to move it, I have to cancel out division. Multiplication cancels out division if you multiply by the same thing that you're dividing by. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 12. On this side, the 12s are going to cancel out, and I'm left with b. On this side, I have 7 times 12, and that's going to be 84. Okay, So this should be my answer. We are going to check to make sure that it is. To do that, we rewrite the first equation, and we're going to take our possible answer and plug it in. 84 divided by 12 is in fact 7. So this is accurate, which means that b in fact does equal 4. We're going to take a look at one other example here. Okay, Our second example that we're taking a look at is going to be 6x equals 54. Now again, we're trying to get x by itself. To do that, I need to get rid of this 6. There's no sign between 6 and x, but when they're right next to each other, it's implied that multiplication is occurring. This reads 6 times x, right? Times means multiply. So to get rid of multiplication, we use the opposite, which is division. We're going to divide both sides of this equation by 6. Now remember, we have to do it to both sides. Otherwise, it's not going to balance out. Here on this side, the 6's will cancel out, and I'm left with x. And on this side, I have 54 divided by 6, which is 9. This should be the solution to my equation. We are going to check. And I'm going to plug in this 9 value into that x. So I have 6 times 9 equals 54. 6 times 9 is in fact 54. So this is accurate, which means that x equals 9 is the solution to your equation. We're going to take a look at one more example. So we have 2 over 3x equals 8. Okay. So now we have a fraction, and I understand that fractions aren't the greatest things in the world. That's okay. Um, we can get rid of the fraction with two simple steps. The first thing is to get rid of this denominator. Now, obviously, like this side's being multiplied, so I don't have to worry about finding a common denominator because I'm not adding or subtracting. If I was adding or subtracting, then I would have to find a common denominator. In this case, I don't. I just need to get rid of this denominator. The fraction line means division, right? So if I wanted to get rid of division, I would multiply. I would multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to get rid of that denominator. Okay. So for now what we have, these 3's on this side are going to cancel out. And what it leaves me with is this 2 
and this x. Remember, multiplication is happening between the fraction and the x, so it's 2 times x on this side. On this side, I have 8 times 3, which is 24. Now I just have to get x by itself by getting rid of that 2. To get rid of the 2, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Again, the 2's cancel out, and I have x equals 12. We're going to go ahead and check this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our possible solution and we're going to plug it in for x. So I have 2 over 3 times 12 equals 8. We're going to do this one piece at a time. First one I'm going to do is multiply 2 times 12. 2 times 12 is 24. I still have this fraction to deal with, right? So I just put it over 3. The right side didn't change, so that still equals 8. From here, 24 divided by 3 is 8, and 8 equals 8, so that works out. So 12 is a solution to this equation, 2 over 3x equals 8. 12 is the answer.